Hi, this is Matthew Robert Payne, and uh, this is um, the seventh chapter of a comprehensive prophet's manual, and you'll be able to find uh, this video on a playlist on my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, you should be able to find the other six uh, chapters on there. Uh, so this chapter is called Using Prophecy. Uh, so first of all, I want to say that uh, uh, you can have a wrong spirit or you can have uh, uh, like a spirit of control in your life and uh, you can use your prophetic gift to try and tell a person to do something you want them to do. Um, that's the wrong use of prophecy. Uh, I know uh, in times past, I had a Jezebel spirit and uh, it used to uh, come into my prophecies. It used to uh, weave its way into my prophecies and I would be trying to control people by uh, prophesying something over them. Uh, you can... Uh, you can see uh, that uh, made evident uh, in some prophetic circles in some of the things that uh, people say and some of the things that people do uh, with the gift of prophecy. But that's just a negative aspect of it. But I thought I'd share it right here at the beginning uh, to make you aware that uh, when you're speaking on behalf of the Lord, uh, it's careful. You got to be careful that you're not imposing your will upon the person. You're not imposing what you want uh, for that person to do, uh, because uh, it can come into the prophetic word and have an influence in the prophetic word. I, I know I've got uh, someone uh, in my life uh, who's prophesied things that uh, they wanted me to do, and. Uh, I was able to tell from the leading of the Holy Spirit in my life uh, and, and the direction that the Holy Spirit was leading me in, I had no compulsion or no desire to do the things that were prophesied. And I was able to discern that uh, this is something that the person wanted for me and wanted me to do, but it wasn't something that the Holy Spirit was leading me to. So it can uh, you can prophesy things that uh, you want a person to do with good intentions, but unless it's coming from the Spirit of the Lord, uh, it's uh, not the right thing uh, to be doing prophecy. So I, I do want to share, um, I'll share this uh, more later in a later chapter, but uh, sometimes we can get into the flesh uh, when we prophesy. Um, and uh, that's most often done when you're prophesying over friends because you want certain things for them, you want them to hear certain things. And uh, sometimes you move into the flesh rather than uh, being carried away with the spirit of the Lord. So, so far uh, in this book, I've shared uh, stories of, of uh, times where I've had prophetic encounters with people. Uh, the gift of prophecy is uh, like I've shared, it's like giving Krispy Kreme uh, donuts out to people. It's uh, something that's very satisfying and enjoyable. Um, I've, I find that uh, about um, one in two prophecies that I've done in my life has, has been for Christians and the other 50% of prophecies have, has been for uh, non-Christians and uh, I have to say that I enjoy both of them uh, uh, because I live in a country where 95% of uh, the people uh, don't go to church on Sundays. Some people, uh, even people who don't go to church, believe in God and have got a reference for God, a frame of reference for God. And so they can appreciate uh, a prophecy. Uh, I approach people and I say, excuse me, I've got a gift. And from time to time, that gift allows me to have a message for a person. Today, I've got a message for you. And the Holy Spirit gave me that line word for word. And uh, people assume that a psychic or a clairvoyant has walked up to them. They have no idea that I'm a prophet and I'm a Christian. And uh, it's not until the end of the prophecy that I say, God bless you. This is a message from Jesus for you. I hope you're blessed. And uh, I'll leave it at that. Um, Prophecy is like a, a battering ram 
uh, for a person's heart, you know, uh, when uh, 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 an invading army uh, hits hits a fortress or hits a, uh, um, a a city, they'll use a battering ram on the gates of the city to bat, batter their way through. And uh, prophecy can be used like a battering ram to soften people's hearts, to touch people's hearts. And uh, a good description of it uh, is uh, that uh, it's like letting off love bombs. Uh, imagine letting off a bomb of love uh, in a person's heart. And so uh, prophecy can be used uh, to steer people closer to Jesus. If they're non-Christian, like I ministered to a lot of non-Christians, uh, it, it leads them a, a closer a step, a, a clo it leads them closer uh, to, to the person of Jesus. Uh, but uh, uh, when, it, when you use prophecy in a Christian's life, it really builds them up and encourages them and blesses them. I, I've been going to a uh, Salvation Army church uh, recently for the last eight weeks, and uh, I like to come alongside Christians and encourage them. Uh, a, a, a few times, I, I, there's certain prophecies I use uh, often uh, with Christians. It, it's, it still comes from the Spirit of the Lord, and as the Spirit of the Lord impresses upon me, I'll use the same words of, of prophecy and uh, it was one of the things uh, that I shared with Orty when I said that I shared two things with Orty. Uh, it's it's uh, the prophecy that says, uh, uh, Jesus said, many are called. Uh, Jesus said, the first shall be last and the last shall be first. And uh, I go on to say that uh, you've been pondering uh, how it is to be one of those last because you want to be first in the kingdom of God. And uh, Jesus uh, says that you're one of the last. You you qualify as one of the last. And uh, that prophecy really blesses people. I know it blesses people because Jesus has told me that I'm considered uh, the last in, in uh, that statement that he made that I've, I've qualified to be last. And uh, so it's a really encouraging prophetic word. And you'll find sometimes uh, that Jesus will use the same phrase or, or the exact same prophecy for a person. And it's just like something, it's just like scripture is something that works. You know, um, everyone knows uh, Jeremiah 29, 11. Um, oh, uh, I've got... I have thoughts for you, thoughts of blessings and peace to give you a hope and a future. Uh, and so many people uh, read Jeremiah 29, 11 and are blessed. So it, it's it's a word of prophecy that blesses multiple people and that, that would have blessed uh, millions of people over the years. And uh, and it's just a prophetic word. And uh, it, when, when it's a prophetic word in scripture, it's a logos word. Uh, the word of God is logos, uh, L-O-G-O-S. Uh, but uh, when it becomes active and living, when it becomes a fresh word of today, a word of the moment, it becomes a rima word. And uh, so you can use uh, a prophetic word that you've used before with other people uh, but uh, you can use it as a rima word, as a fresh, direct word of God uh, for that person, and it hits home, and it really hits home. So, um, so uh, using prophecy is just a way to encourage and lift up people. Uh, I uh, have shared already that I've got uh, the gift of encouragement, and I've just got a natural uh, propensity uh, to encourage people, and uh, it's a uh, uh, it's just easy for me to encourage people and the gift of prophecy uh, streamlines with that gift and, and works alongside that gift. And it just gives me an extra ability to bring encouragement to people. Uh, so uh, prophecy is a wonderful gift and uh, it should be used as often as uh, you can. Uh, you can uh, develop the ability to uh, have uh, the uh, 
strength and abilities to to uh, prophesy to strangers and uh, that's where i find i i find uh, i have a lot of fun uh doing it but if you go to a christian conference and there's thousands of christians walking around i can spend all the time in the breaks just walking up to christians and prophesying to them and uh, that's a wonderful time i used to go to a conference put on by a church hillsong in sydney and all churches from sydney used to go to it and there were thousands of people at the conference and i'd spend the four days in the breaks just walking up to christians and prophesying over them and it was a really fun thing to do there's something about having a total stranger prophesy over you and it's a real blessing and uh, uh, many people are blessed uh, when they come to my website and request a free prophecy uh, request a prophecy off my website um, so um, yeah prophecy has a lot of uses <laughs>